Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another American Reacts. Uh, we're looking at memes from down under. That's right, Australia memes. Uh, this is from none other than Meme Cream, and this will be linked down below in the description, so make sure to check it out. Uh, I feel like this is long overdue, and there's a lot of videos like this, so this will be revisited for sure, especially if this does well. So make sure to uh, throw a thumbs up under if you enjoy it. Let's get right to it. <laughs> See how many of these I get? While life in Australia... <laughs> Europe, That's about right. UK, USA, Australia. Oh my god. <laughs> Upside down, Corporate of course. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They are the same picture. What? Is that the, uh... Oh, gotta know my flags. I think that's Austria's flag, right? I'm gonna not too confidently say that's Austria's flag. And of course, Australia's flag uh, is upside down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Austria's flag. So that's funny. Yeah, of course, a lot of people would confuse that. Austria, Australia, think it's the same place or get it mixed up, whatever. Wow. A little what different. What do you get when you cross an elephant and a kangaroo? Earthquakes in Australia. <laughs> Dog head, cat's head, cat food. What? Oh Rangers my god, that's funny. So, I, like I said, part of the fun in this video, especially for you, the viewer, uh, if you're from Australia or that region, uh, you might laugh because some of these I'll get and some of these I won't get. This, I imagine, is separating them as in they're kind of different. Like Western Australia, uh, from what I know, is pretty different from, you know, say down over here in ACT or Queensland. And of course, if you're from the mainland, or they never miss a chance to uh, poke some fun at Tasmania, so. <laughs> mate is just short for inmate, because Australia was literally a bunch of convicts oh forced God. to live there. Oh my God, wow. That is, that is Rest of the very world. overplayed, that joke, isn't it? I mean, one could argue that was partially true for originally in Americas as well, so. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> That's too funny, wow. Why Starbucks failed in Australia? I'll just have a cup of coffee. Be you know what? I should watch that. I feel like that'd be interesting because Starbucks is so, like, bigger than life over here in the United States. It's kind of crazy how popular they are. I've been to so many different states and so many different parts of America feel so different from each other. But yet they all had one thing in common, you know, whether it's the East or the West or the, the Midwest. Everyone loves Starbucks. It's so weird. I personally don't go there. I, I just... I don't have a problem with their stuff. I think it's way too pricey for one. I make coffee at home. Uh, but if I do have coffee on the go when I can't make it, I usually go to Dunkin', Dunkin' Donuts. So I find them to be better priced, better taste. Yeah, I don't know. But I would love to see that video because Australia, I've learned, is one of the top countries in the world for coffee consumption, right? You guys love your coffee. And, uh, Starbucks didn't work, so I'd like to see that video. That sounds interesting. Sorry about the rant. I'll just have a cup of coffee. There it is. That's funny. Wow. <laughs> you know you're in Australia when you see and hear the local people telling flies to f off and expecting them to listen. <laughs> oh, jeez. Are flies that what bad there? Think Australia Good lord. Like. What it's actually like. Okay, real quick before we look at this. Back to the last one. Flies must be pretty bad in certain areas, I imagine. Uh, flies can be bad in the U.S. too, but it, de it depends, I guess, what time of year and, you know, where you're at. I know mosquitoes uh, are real bad famously in, in Illinois, where I'm from. Uh, like West Nile virus used to be like a big concern, and that stemmed from mosquitoes in Illinois. It started here. Uh, so they, they're pretty bad here. It's very humid here. Uh, whereas you go out west, say, the western states, uh, it's very arid, very dry, and there's not a lot of mosquitoes out there. And, of course, the big spider, cliche, right? Uh, but, of course, it's upside down. We are in Australia, so. A golden retriever in Australia brought home a baby koala bear she saved from the bushfires. Aww. Australians officially banned <laughs> from traveling overseas. Wait, we are all prisoners on this island. Always has been. Oh, my God. <laughs> Australian Jeez. mass addict dressed up as cop and raids another drug user's home. Mega. <laughs> Australia is dropping That's pretty clever. of eggs from helicopters for hungry animals escaping bushfires. Everyone liked that. That's pretty neat. 
I like that. Master Chef I do. Australia. Master Chef US. What? <laughs> Drank 18 cans of beer, hold a cow, and then passed out under a tree. <laughs> Now that sounds accurate. <laughs> one job. Of course, it must be Australia, right? So, uh, did someone seriously mess that up? That's got to be for the picture. Come on. That's bad. That's real bad. Australia being the upside down place means South America and Africa. Antarctica. <laughs> yeah, how, how come Australia is the upside down place when most, if not all, of South America? And, uh, of course, southern half of Africa is, is also in the southern hemisphere, right? <laughs> Italy buying a ticket to Australia instead of Austria. Oh, no. Anyway. <laughs> Flat earthers claim Australia doesn't exist. Wow. And people who live there are actors paid by NASA. By NASA. 25 wow. million people in Australia. Am I a joke to you? Right? Yeah, millions of people. <laughs> Meanwhile, wow, that's a lot of actors. <laughs> Damn. NASA must be forking out a lot Australia. of cash. Jeez no Louise. More Japanese girl next what a joke. Door screaming at 3 a.m. I miss her. What? No much. Dang it, I don't get this one either. I feel like this is funny if I got it. Oh, man. Someone fill me in on that California, one. California, Australia. <laughs> I mean, Austin okay, government th these are good. These memes are fun, but there's a lot about the upside down stuff, which is funny. But I, I'd like a little more diversity in these. Like, the whole upside down thing can only be played so much, right? In a press conference after Trump's statement. Flat Earthers. Australia doesn't exist. They are just paid actors from NASA. Australian Flat Earthers. <laughs> yeah, where's that leave them? <laughs> I heard you like dogs. Check your front porch. Oh my god, you didn't. Holy smokes. Oh, jeez. We have a croc on the porch. How scary. When gets 1k down votes, but you're Australian. They love me. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say down votes. Now, that one was more clever. Even though it was a down under joke, which, you know, those are a little overdone. That one was really clever. I, I knew that where that was going. That was pretty good. Caps in Australia. <laughs> Holy smoke. Australian dollar. <laughs> Why not, right? All the crazy big spiders, it might as well be a spider cat. Those should be called Dollarus. Change my mind. Yeah, that would be cool. Imagine that. Footage of an Australian Dollarus did that cost you? drone is being investigated by authorities. It's not clear whether using a homemade drone to lift yourself into the air is illegal in Australia. <laughs> the suicide That's plant, awesome with the VB the too. The most poisonous plant is the Jimpy Jimpy. It is found in Australia. The pain is described as a mixture oh. of acid burn and electric shock. It is rumored that anyone who wow. touches it refers to commit suicide. Unlike Epstein, <laughs> oh my God. did not commit suicide. This sounds horrible. I remember hearing about this somewhere along the lines in the last couple months. Uh, I think maybe just from people in comments. And I I really actually should do a video on it. It slipped my mind. I, I forgot about this. Wow. I wonder where this is found. I, I'm going to do a video on this eventually. But yeah, that sounds horrible. I do not want to see that. Don't want to touch it. I mean, something... Um, first of all, acid burn electric shock. Yikes. Second of all, anyone... I mean, if you... Suicide's better than dealing with that. That's got to be horrible. That's scary, dude. Ugh. Buying school supplies in Australia versus in America. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, we can guess which one's America, right? Right here. <laughs> That's too funny. Um, Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Color fingerprints are so similar to humans that even crime scene investigators have been confused by them koala human Whoa. wait what kind of crime scene has both yeah wait a second <laughs> what kind of crime scene has both um that's a good question but wow that is remarkably similar i mean we're talking about a an animal and like it looks nothing like a human right but look at that that's pretty remarkable i did not know that Wow. Teacher, <laughs> when would that scenario ever come Australia? into play, though? Me. 49.1 Australian dollars. Teacher, then why did you write 30 dollars? 
Those man really flew here all the way from Australia. Holy crap, dude. Bad sleeping <laughs> in Australia. Oh, I get it. The bats are upright instead of hanging down. Wow, that's... There we go. There the it is, guys. Is cat playing with Australia. I've seen that before. That's pretty out there, but I can see it, right? <laughs> that's funny. Australians. Vampires. Australian vampires. <laughs> oh, my God. Non-Australian. I got hit by a hailstone. Gosh, it hurt. Australian. Oh yeah, the spikes are brutal. None Australian. The what now? Yeah. Dude, that's what we saw uh, on our other video from a couple days ago. What is with that spiked hail? What? Like, that's crazy. Hail is bad enough when it's smooth. But these are big. When I said we get hail in Illinois, it's, it's literally only a, every couple years. It's not often. And it's usually no bigger than a penny. It's like small. Like small hail. It's usually round. It's not sharp. Um, it's done damage to one of our old Jeep we used to have. Uh, and not, luckily that was covered under insurance, but it was horrible. It dented up the hood. I thought that was bad enough, but geez Louise, these are, look at this in this, this person's hand. I mean, it's, it almost fills up your whole hand and it's spiky. Like that's something out of a movie, man. That's messed up. You can see it's tearing apart windshields and, and cars left and right. I mean, that could damage anything. That could be really dangerous for your health. If you get caught walking in that or something, like, that's craziness, man. What is the story with that? Jeez. Australia World War that's, This is not I fair. I just killed 17 men with my combat knife. Australia Emu War. Ask Gary Big Chicken. <laughs> I uh, have not seen that video. I've heard about that, that video, though. Um, so I don't know much about it other than... I've seen headlines along the lines of Australia lost, you know, a war to emus. Uh, so I thought that was interesting <laughs> considering, you know, pretty badass in, in real wars. Uh, but yeah, I don't know the story there, but I can appreciate, I know enough to uh, appreciate this. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Never forget that Australia's first ever Winter Olympics gold was won because the guy was coming dead last and everyone in front of him fell over. Oh my god, wow. Number plate of a car in Perth, Australia. Made to be read in the mirrors of the cars. Illusion 100. Wow, that is crazy. Of course it's on a Holden. It's on a Holden and we have X3222A. I'm sorry, that is messed up. Wow. And that is for sure by accident, I would assume. I don't think they would have got a vanity plate with that. I mean, unless they were... Like I said, level 100, clever. I don't know. That's that's funny. Australia that is funny. Emus. <laughs> All right. Africa, Asia, Australia. Whatever is going on in USA, USA. Uh. <laughs> Four most dangerous places in the world. Australia, Death Valley, Tanzania, Electrical. That's pretty accurate, right? <laughs> Australia can be dangerous if you don't have any common sense. Death Valley, very dangerous, hottest place on earth, and very remote. Tanzania, I don't know much about that, but it I suppose it looks pretty dangerous. Uh, I assume it's extreme desert and remote as well. And electrical, yeah, look at that, of course. The, <laughs> I never played Among Us. I don't know if any of you viewers did. I know it was very popular. It probably still is, but... Uh, I do get the reference because I've seen it before. I just haven't How played people it. think Australians go to work. Oh, How of course. Australians actually go to work. Yeah, ride the kangaroo. Oh, well, upside down, yeah. Among us. Duh. Among you. <laughs> among... <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> How good are these new joke of the day mellow jars? Ah, uh, that's a good one. Now, that's good. That's good right there. Perfect for sharing with friends. Hell no. One thing I've gotten in mail time I will not be sharing is Milo. Come on. Stuff Stocking is too good. For summer in Australia. Dang. There we go. Wow. My That's, mate from Australia that is stocking up. looks good, actually. To just how poorly our society accommodates their needs. <laughs> oh, my God. Australians are just British Texans. Change my mind. 
<laughs> kind of, right? NZ, I can see that. Can I copy your homework? <laughs> or sure. Just change it up a bit so it's not obvious. Yeah. Why the flag, that's funny. Versus while they are afraid of us. Yes, there we go. See, that's what everyone sees, the, the touristy stuff. Like, oh, those big spiders and snakes. Yuck. <laughs> I mean, let's get real. These aren't going to mess with you unless you go seeking trouble. The, you know, these really aren't. This, this is the real danger. I, I even know that. After seeing plenty of footage and hearing from you guys, you guys have taught me a lot. Uh, yeah, magpies are what I would be afraid of for sure because these will just come out of nowhere. And uh, these are going to be a lot more danger than some big hairy spider. Right? Thank you for watching. That's it, guys. That's it. Uh, some of those were really clever. Some were a little simple, a little overdone. But... Uh, Hey, that was fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Tell me down below what you thought of these. I do find it funny how uh, the whole, you know, upside down, down under Australia thing got played out. Like, I wonder where that started, right? I'm sure it started a long time ago with some sort of, I don't know, some touristy thing or, or some marketing. I'm not sure. Uh, because, like, you know, there's other places that you could call that if, if you want to get technical, right? You know, South America, South Africa antarctica new zealand like come on you know what i mean like <laughs> it's kind of bizarre i guess but uh but yeah that is our first video on uh, memes from australia we will be visiting this again soon so uh hopefully this video does well but hey i appreciate you watching throw a like on there if you did get a laugh from this subscribe for more stuff like this check the description for this original video and other ways you can support my channel my name is ian you're watching iw rocker hope your weekend has been going great i'll catch you later